much of me you can see. Do I need to move that way? Oh uh, no, you can. They can see you. Okay, good. I feel like I'm right. I'm like only two feet away from the camera. It feels weird. Okay, so um, I think we need a different lighting though. Really? I can't. I'm seeing a shadow. I wasn't seeing a shadow. It was fine. I was seeing a shadow on that. So okay. Better. Yeah. All right. Let's go over supplies again. Hi guys. We made it. It's Tuesday. <laughs> All right. We finally made it to our alpaca, alpaca, llama. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. Um, so supplies today is our 12 by 12 canvas. Everybody should have their sketch on there already for us. Okay. Our paints today, we're going to use the five primary colors and brown. So red, yellow, blue, black, white, and brown. Okay. Start with that maybe nickel sized amount. You need to add more. You can always add more. Better to not waste your supplies if you can. We're going to use that half of an inch flat brush. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This. That medium round brush. Like this. And then one of those tinier brushes for outlining and doing our little fine details. Okay. All right. A um, cup of water to rinse your brushes, paper towels to dry your brushes. Does anyone have any questions before we get started? We'll see. Now I'm pinning you okay. through the spotlight. Okay, that's so good. you should be recorded correctly, I right? Hope so, yeah. <laughs> we hope so. I'm looking for somebody. Let's see, chat. Right. Abby says, is it Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? <laughs> it, it is Wednesday. Holy mackerel. I don't even know what day it is, guys. It's Wednesday. Thank you, Abby. I'm sorry. Don't listen to me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. See, don't scare people like that. <laughs> it's been a rough week, guys. I was so excited to get here. So excited for this one. All right. Let's get started with what we're going to do. So let's start with that flat brush. Okay. Always rinse and dry that brush before we get started. Okay. okay. So let's work on, we're going to work on that background first. All right. So my background is kind of like a purple color. Just like I always say, mine's not going to look like mine. Yours not, not going to look, look like, like mine. <laughs> so we want you to make it your own. If you don't want a purple background, you make your background whatever color you want. If you want to do a rainbow background, you do a rainbow background. If you want a red background, you make a red background, right? I'm going to follow what I did just so you guys can see what I've done. So we're going to mix a little bit of purple. So to do a purple, I'm going to take a scoop of blue and a scoop of red in another spot on my plate or on your palette and mix. So try and keep it in a small area. And if you need another plate for mixing, that's fine. Grab another plate for mixing. We got somebody joining in. Jade. Jade. Yeah, Jade's just joining us. Okay, hi Jade. Can you tell her what she needs? Yep, so Jade, I just went over our supplies, okay? 12 by 12 canvas. You should have your sketch on there with your llama, pack of wacka llama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you should have, we're going to use three brushes. The half of an inch, half of an inch brush flat brush, a medium round brush, mm -hmm. and then a tinier brush for details to kind of like do some outlining, okay? Um, our paints are five primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black, white, and we are also using brown today. And then I have a cup of water to rinse my brushes and paper towels to dry them. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first step we did, we're going to just mix a little bit of purple. You can make your background whatever color you like, but I'm going to start with some purple. So I mix some purple, a pretty dark purple. So I'm going to lighten that up a bit by just taking a little bit of white and adding a little bit of white to it. So when you take from your paint, I don't want you to take from the center, otherwise you kind of mess up that whole pot of paint. Right. So I want you to always take from the edge of your paint as you, as you grab paint to mix. Okay. Okay. All right. So you kind of have a little bit of a lavender color in there. 
a light purple. I still don't like the lighting. It's like it's still getting shadowy. Really? Yeah. She becomes from that side. She becomes from that side? Yeah, she becomes that way. That's because that one's not on. This light is taking up down. Ah. said you mixed a little purple but how did you do that i'm sorry yep you're right a scoop of blue and a scoop of red and mm -hmm. then to lighten it up a bit i just did a little white a scoop of blue and a scoop, scoop of red, red and then a, a little, little bit of white to lighten yeah. it up yep. and then you want them to make these outlines around the sketch that they have on their canvas right. that's for us to check and our uh, anacast all right now we're going to start with our background so away from we're going to just work in diagonal lines away pulling away from our llama or alpaca we're going to call it a, a llama for now and what brush are you using I'm again i'm still using that flat brush all the way through okay okay so kind of going by the guideline that we put down i want you to line up your brush next to that guideline and just pull away okay okay so we're, it's almost like there's like a big starburst behind him. All right. Lauren and Douglas have just joined us. Hi, Lauren and Douglas. Mm -hmm. Make sure you grab the top, the bottom, and the sides as you paint. So if you want to do that first and kind of get that out of the way, okay. now's a great time to do it. With the purple. Yep, I'm just using that purple all the way through. All the way around our background. But again, if you want to create a different color background, you go right ahead. Okay, now before you finish, I mean, before you get started on the painting around the background, I yes. mean, painting your background, yes. just ex explain to um to Lauren. Oh, okay. So the one that, again, this join colors red, yellow, blue, black, white, and brown. Mm -hmm. We're making a little bit of purple. So Loop of red, loop of blue, mm -hmm. and a little bit of white to lighten it up, depending on what colors you have. Okay, you want to make this whatever background color you want. Right. We're doing, so we kind of did a little guideline. It's almost a circle around his head, and then diagonal lines coming down from either side of the bandana. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're just filling in that background by lining up those four folds against kind of our outline and pulling away to the edge of our canvas. And you explained the outline. Yes. Okay. If anybody has questions, let me know though, okay? Yes. Repeat. Yes. Okay, so we're still recording and we have you on the spotlight video. All right. Hopefully this is all coming out right. <laughs> I hope so. Wait, now the Von Specklesons are coming back in. Oh, Von Specklesons are coming back in. Okay. All good. right, they tried to go out and come back, back in, so we'll see if we can see if everything is good with them now. You guys okay, Dad? Are we going to do the next? Oh, really? So you guys Let's see. Are so, Brayden, Brayden, why don't you go walk around or something until the next part? So. Is everything okay? And all right, I'm just using diagonal lines away from our sketch. All right. Coming out around our mama. Okay. If you want to add other colors in that background, you can go back and grab other colors and add some other colors in there. Okay. All right. I'm just going to keep going with my purple. All the way around. All the way around llama. your alpaca. Okay. Alpaca, laca, llama. Laca. <laughs> if you have to mix a little bit more, remember it was red, blue, and a little bit of white. Red, blue, and a blue little bit of white. Yep. And you drew that little outline on the outside of your sketch. Yeah, so I just want to kind of give them a, a guideline of where the hair is going to come out to. Okay. So the top of his head is going to kind of come out to this area. And is the rest of his face is going to kind of come out to this area. Maybe a little bit closer if you want to move it in a little bit closer. All right. And we can always paint over it, okay? Okay. Again, just kind of doing um, straight, sorry, straight diagonal lines right out to the edge of your canvas. Yeah, could you slow down so they could see that? You're on the outside of your, your lack, your lack of packer. <laughs> your alpaca. Packer. Alpaca. Lacca. Okay. We're going to have to find out the difference, guys. Find out the difference? The difference. We're not getting no special guests. Should be. Okay, I'm keeping an eye open. I see everyone painting right now. Good deal. Yes, it is. Very good, guys. This is going to take you guys a few minutes. So take your time. Enjoy what you're doing. Right. Love what you're doing. Make sure you like the colors and your background. Right. If you come up with any issues or any problems, just, just unmute know. yourself and let us know. Yep. We have everybody on mute for now, but if you need us, just unmute and let us know, okay? Yeah, everybody's just filling in their background now with whatever colors they decided was the best for their background after they've uh, helped fill out their sketch, and now they're painting the outside of their sketch. Good. Again, if you want to add some other colors so it's not just a solid background, you can grab other colors in there. I'm going to grab some white and just kind of put some white through back there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you got everybody concentrating and painting. Yes, I see busy, busy, busy people. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. When you guys are all done with your paintings, we always would love for you guys to post them right to the page, okay? Make sure you share with everybody what you did. And at the very end of our summer camp or our boot camp, we are going to put together a slideshow, just like we do for all the other events on Facebook. When yes, when we just make when we when we just make the kids camp the featured artists yes, for the month will. or something, because there's a lot of paintings in there. <laughs> All right, and remember, if you want to lift your canvas, grab the bottom of this side, of each side, you can do that, okay? All right. All right, we're going to give everybody a few minutes. Yes, to finish take up, your take time. your time. Right. All 
right? And then make sure you just kind of put your uh, brush in your water once okay. you're completed with that part of your painting. Well, I'm glad you're up close enough because I can't zoom in. I, I really I hate know. that I can't zoom in. No, it's crazy. Okay, and hopefully this is what's recording, right? And then they'll just show up and I'll let them in. Okay, let's see what happens. We're recording. Everybody's watch, watch, watch. Everybody's thinking. Yes. Oh, no, go the other way. Okay. Yay. All right. See? Very good. See? Nice. Everybody's in deep concentration. You know, when you're in create mode, mm -hmm. that's so satisfying. That's why people like it so much. Because they're being who they really are, creators. Why? What are you looking for? You know them. You want me to? But it's still going on, right? I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> we have people in deep concentration here That's right great. now. They are way more important, but um. Yeah, they'll just pop up, and I'll see them, and I'll let them in. Mm -hmm. What are you? Oh, you can't use your phone. <laughs> Want to use my phone? I'll I get my, phone. my email though. Probably. Can I get it through here? That's not it. That's not it. Oh. I'll give it a minute. <laughs> I have to go through. Um, click internet and then go to email. What? Do you want to go back? Yeah. Here we are. Everybody's doing a great job. I see everybody's busy, busy. Yeah. Um, I think they're about finished right here. <laughs> yes. Rory looks like they're done. <laughs> Let's see who else. It looks like people are finishing up. All right. Yes. Okay. Have you guys give us some thumbs up when you're ready for the next part, okay? Mm -hmm. Just be dry. Yes. All right. Hi, Master. 
Come on. Hi, baby. All right, Rascal. Oh, oh, Mommy's busy right now. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't start. Okay. Yes, here we go. Abby's almost done. Tanoxie's done and ready. Okay. But as we're waiting, people are finishing up. I see people with thumbs up. Yep, everybody's about ready. Very good, guys. I'm still going through. Okay. Yep, I see oh I see Ali, Zach, and Emma all ready. All right. Anya ready. Anya ready. Tanakshi ready. Yay. JT, are you ready? <laughs> JT is ready. JT's ready. Okay. Uh, right. Rory's ready. Yep, I see the big thumbs up. <laughs> all right. We're gonna swap brushes. So after you are done with your background, put that flat brush in your water, rinse it, dry it. And then we're going to switch to the medium round brush. Okay, well, I just want to check first. Okay, I want to check first. Okay. Um, is Jade ready? Sure everybody's ready. Yeah, I'm not sure if Jade is ready. Okay. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure if Shay is ready. We'll make sure. Shay looks like she's in deep concentration. <laughs> everybody's working hard. Yes, and then, then we've got um, Austin and Ashlyn. Are they ready? Who else here? Let's see. Who else I see here? <laughs> just want to make sure everybody's okay they're ready here i like coming to take a peek and see what you're there doing. yeah see that's what i want to see my von Spreckelsons, are they okay <laughs> are they all right can they hear us are they ready is this the right brush let's see let me see hold it closer, hold it closer so they yes know. there that's Good. it hey, thank you thank, thank you. you oh no we done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome Chat. That's Allison is ready. Oh, thumbs I get up. the thumbs up. Oh, that's yes. cute. You guys are doing that. Yes. Awesome. All right. Hold on, hold on. This is a couple of seconds. Okay. Wanna make sure everybody's good here. Sorry, we joined a little late because we lost oh, we couldn't find the link, but then we found it. So we're starting. Hi. All right, you okay? Yeah, we just need a couple minutes, please. Okay. Sure. Now, who was that? Was that was that my friend Spreckelsons? Oh, um, I don't know. No, they were on. No, no. Allison's ready. <laughs> Allison is ready. Oh, Anya's wait. ready. Anya is ready. Oh, I love the background, Anya. Good job. Yes. Beautiful. Sonakshi is ready. Sonakshi is ready. JT, JT is ready. Jade. Jade looks ready. Okay. I was waiting for my guests to arrive. I don't see him yet, guys. Right. They'll let us know. Right. Yep. Jade's ready. Shay's ready. Right, good. Okay. I think we can move on, and I will okay. just have to repeat the steps as yep. we go. We'll repeat if you're falling behind, okay? And then we're gonna wait for a little while on the next step too. All right. So that medium brush, we want to make a light brown color. So there's lots of different shades of brown in our llama, alpaca, okay? Maca. <laughs> So this brown that I have is pretty dark. So I want to make a light brown. So if you need another plate, grab another plate. I'm just going to kind of put it right next to it. I want to do a scoop of brown. Of yellow. Whoa. A scoop of brown, a, a scoop, scoop of, of yellow. yellow. I'm going to start with that to see what that looks like. So mix that a bit. This is what you're going to paint your lacquer, Aka. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Scoop of brown, scoop of yellow. Not quite light enough for me, so I'm going to grab a little bit of white. 
because it's not light enough for you. So you're going to take a little bit of white from that little edge from the white. Yep, and then mix again. And let's see what we've got. You see it lighten up? Yep, there we go. Show them. Show them how it lightened up. Yeah, but you like that light. You like it. It's a little bit lighter to you. Yeah. Okay, you like that. We're good. All right, so I want to start with this light brown color that we made. Okay. If there's too much paint on your brush, you can rinse it, dry it, get it back to a point. But I want to just, I'm going to put this right on this here. So I'm going to use up what paint I have on my brush. Yes, I'm going to use it. Use that up in his ears. All of that paint that you got on your brush, you're just putting it in the ears. Yep. And you're going to spread it all out. And then I'm going to work down here again with all the paint that I have on my brush, kind of get it off in this big area. Okay. So from his um, scarf. Or scarf, we're just going to pull away from the scarf in little brush strokes. So bristles against the scarf and then just pulling Come down. down. Okay. So we're going to do that all the way down. All right. All right. So I'm going to finish in here and then come down here and just pull little brush strokes all the way down with that brown color that we just made. Okay. All right. So here's first. Yeah. Move your hand when you finish. Let me see. Since I can't zoom in. I know. Sorry, guys. Probably a lot of paint on your brush. You need to get it off or get it rinse and dry and get it back to a point. You can do that so you have a little bit more control over where that paint's going on your canvas. Okay. Okay. So if they're nervous about having all of that paint on their brush, they can just rinse it and yep. then start all over and get the point and then do a little yeah, at a time. Yep. Not in a rush. No, no rush, guys. Take your time. And it's okay if you leave some white spaces. It's okay to leave some white spaces. Yes, because we're going to go over it with other colors. Okay. Okay. I'm working my way down with little brush strokes. And you guys can take your time. And you're doing little brush strokes in the same direction, going down. Yep. All right. You're just doing the ears. And then you're doing the, uh, the part underneath the scarf. Started with that first step. Okay. Little brush strokes all the way down. As you get to the edge, I want you to kind of press that out to the edge so that his, um, his, fur? his fur kind of goes out in towards the background and you're kind of covering that edge. So like little, almost little curved strokes out outward? You got it. Okay, little curved strokes outward when you get to the edges. Right, okay, I see. Okay. Very good. And you're filling in. Um, it's okay to leave a little white spots, right. little white okay spaces, white spaces as you're doing all of those strokes. Correct. Very good. Thank you. All right, we're going to give you guys a minute to kind of just do this part first, okay? Okay. Come and check it out. Let's see. Going to come and check it out? Come and check it out. Okay. Can I pin them? No. No? No. People, you got to keep the spotlight video on, otherwise we lose it. Okay. You got no visitors. No visitors. You want me to go back? Yeah, maybe. Where? Next to the Here? Left. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't respond? Mm -hmm. Right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Martin? Mm-hmm. No. He's the person? No. Nope. Where's the person? Yeah. Is there okay. Apple? You set them the. Mm-hmm. This is the correct Zoom link. Mm-hmm. Can we send it to him again? Yeah. <coughs> so go back. So let me go back. Right, that's what I want to go back. This one right here. So, to the bottom of this one. To the bottom of this one right here. Meeting yeah. ID, passcode. Yeah, just to the bottom of that one. Uh-huh. Okay, no <coughs> Forward. Yeah. I'm trying. Second apple. Okay. Okay, waiting. Mama. Yeah. I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah. Here. Here. Code and link. And then oh, where is it? Oh, it's all here. Around the code and link. Okay, but I didn't put it there. I don't see it. Okay. All right, so we go out of here and be right back here. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. All right. Okay, so next step we're going to lighten that brown up a little bit more. You're going to lighten it up some more? A little bit more. So I'm going to take a little bit more white with that brush. If you rinse and dry, that's fine. If not, it's okay. Just a little bit more white. We're lightening that up a little bit more. So when they finish their packers, <laughs> they're going to put a little bit more white into that brown. Yep. So we're going to make it a little lighter from what we had before. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to work on this part of his nose. Oh, you get into the close cut areas. So it can be very food. careful going in there, filling that uh, in. If you want that, if you want to use your tinier brush, you can use your tinier brush. Yeah, maybe they should use the smaller brush. Yep. I'm filling in the nose. And then I'm going to do under here, under here, the bottom of his mouth. Bottom up his mouth. And the nose. You got it so far. So I'm leaving that the nose nose. This part black will be for black. So we're gonna leave that alone. So it's just kind of the front of his mouth or the top of his mouth and the bottom of his mouth underneath. Did you say the nose nose? The nose nose. The nose nose with the nose nose. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna leave this part open for black. Leave the real actual tip of his nose for black. <laughs> his nose will be black. Okay. So now we're just lightening that up and we'll do this part and this part. Whoa. Okay. And then, just like we did down here, I want to begin a little brush stroke right around his cheeks. Those cheek areas. Okay. So a little brush stroke out toward. Towards your background area, 
way. Okay, they can come all the way out. You can, yep. You can come all the way out. We're going to just keep lightening up, lightening it up as we go. You're going to lighten up the brown even more? Yep, eventually. For now, okay. let's just work with this color. Let them see that for a minute. Because mm -hmm. you're moving a little rapidly. We did the ears, then we did the body um, underneath the scarf. Yep. Then you said, let's do the nose after we lighten the brown up a little bit more. And then you did the bottom lip or underneath the yep. bottom part of the lip. Yep. Okay. And now you're going to do the sides of his face. Yep. face. With little flare like <laughs> um, strokes. Yep. And walk all the way out to that background area. Okay, almost all the way out. It's okay if you leave some space. Oh, it is okay to leave some space. You're yeah, going to paint okay. some more. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, Noxy says, I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Yeah, with all the colors in it. <laughs> I have a little bit of rainbow going on. You didn't spill no paint, huh? I didn't spill the paint on my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I told her to surprise me. Oh, what's going on, Susie? <laughs> I even tried to. Do not disturb. But, you know. It's okay. So you didn't you didn't have a painting accident and no. spilled no paint in your hair, nothing like that. You got your hair done. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do those little brush strokes all the way under, almost like we're creating a circle under there. Okay. Almost like you. Oh, okay. So you almost finish that circle around there. So sort of like gave him a beard. Yep. And then if you want to come right across the top of that handkerchief or his scarf. Like that? You can do that just to get that covered. Okay. So if you don't cover it with the strokes, you can just you paint can that part paint in. Over. Yep. But basically on the sides, it's almost like you just made him a beard. <laughs> kind of, yep. Yeah, mine looks like the bearded llama. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it's got mutton. He's got the mutton chop beard. <laughs> it does look like it has a beard around it. Oh, you got to see it. He showed it to me. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm coming. Oh, you want to see Let's it? See, see, see. It showed again. Look, look. He's got the mutton <laughs> chops on the side. <laughs> <laughs> the bearded mama. Yeah. You can go. Yeah, that's, that's great. Wow. You're doing good. Oh my gosh. Cool. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing right across the top of his sunglasses or his glasses. So, right from the top, we're going to lift up towards that side. Over of the our top background. of his sunglasses. Yep. And again, if you want to just kind of brush. Straight over so that you don't have to worry about little brush strokes going over your glasses. Yeah, let them see that. You can do that first. Like sort of like giving them eyebrows. <laughs> sort of. And then you can just go over that by pulling up and away. Right, this way you're not uh, painting over his glasses. Worry about, yeah, the little, little tiny brush strokes all against the edge of the glasses. So it's like you're painting eyebrows over the glasses and then you're going <laughs> to flare out from after that. You got it. Okay. That's it. I see I see everybody looking at you seeing it and seeing how you're doing it. Very good. All right, not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna give mine I might give mine eyebrows. Yeah, you could give them the eyebrows. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I have a little bit of eyebrows going in here. You oh, yeah, that. you do. I do. There's some eyebrows in there. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be one big unibrow. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it's an actual unibrow when you think it. the whole, all of it. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Look at his unibrow. Coming, I'm coming. Going all the way across. Too cute. You're so funny. I love it, JT. Awesome. <laughs>
I ma- I major monogram the llama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, also with that lighter brown, we want to put some of those lighter brown strokes down here. Okay, in the little areas that yep. you might have left open. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna do another Underneath layer. The star. We're gonna do another layer. But still, if you want to add some of this lighter brown, you can add some of these lighter brown strokes down here. Okay. Let's see. Awesome. Yeah, everybody's painting. Good, guys. Yay. Concentrating. Concentrating. What do you need him? You're banging. Okay. He's fixing vacuums. I know. Aiden's fixing vacuums today. Give you guys a minute and then I'm gonna make the brown even lighter. Oh, so the next thing is going to make even lighter, lighter brown? Yep. Even lighter. Well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like some people are just winding down. They're just finishing up. Yep. Time. Don't rush. Oh yeah. We're not going anywhere. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, nope, nope. them in. Yeah. They must have come out and then went back in. All right, we'll bring them in. Here they come. Here they are. <laughs> you okay, Jess? They're still coming in. Yeah, they just must not have that great connection, I guess. There we are. He's on. All right, good. Are you guys okay? Hi. Hi. <laughs> are you guys okay? You ready? What's that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're outside. I know. <laughs> it's awesome to paint outside. It is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. How you doing, guys? <laughs> I see. Um, Ali, Zach, and Emma look like they're having a great time. Oh, good. Yep. Very good, guys. Love it. Yeah, it looks like they're ready. Rory looks like Rory's ready. Okay. I really think Rory's ready. <laughs> All right, yep, so thumbs up. Great. So, again, all I did was we're going to make another lighter brown. So, I'm just grabbing another scoop of white, adding it to the light brown that we made to make it lighter. Okay. Right? So, you're going to make some more lighter brown. <laughs> so, we're making that brown lighter. Yep. Ali, Zach, and Emma said thumbs up, and they're ready to move on. Very good. All right. Again, if they're too much paint on this brush, yeah, and it's kind of messy. Rinse it and dry it, or if you want to switch to that tinier brush that you have, okay, you can switch to the tinier brush because we're going to start getting into some of the smaller details. All right, so All right. they could use the tinier brush. Use the tinier brush. Okay. Okay. So we want to do inside the glasses, but around his eye. You're going to do inside the glasses, but around, around the eye. The eye. Yeah, you can let them see that since we can't close up. So we're inside those glass area around the eyeball. That's after you mix that even lighter brown. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, inside the glasses. You still got to paint the glasses. Okay. Color they want to make their glasses. Yeah. Okay. That should be interesting. <laughs> and then I also want to take that color around the rest of this area of the face. So underneath those glasses. Oh yeah, okay. Over over the part of the nose. Yeah, over the 
over that part of the nose that we left open. Okay. And then in this little circular area here. Oh, okay. You're going to fill that in now. So yeah, if you haven't done so, now is probably a great time to move to that tinier brush. To the tinier brush to fill in this even lighter brown yep. around his mouth. Okay. You need a lot of noise up there, buddy. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. So once you get under that mouth, the bottom of the mouth, yes. you want to do those little brush strokes again. And so the darker brush strokes, you can do that there. That's our progress, right? That's my progress. This is still, he's still peeing. Right. I'm looking at Lauren. Yes. Yes, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at oh, her painting well, right now. Can you take yeah. a quick look? I'm coming. Come around and oh. take a look. Coming, yeah. coming. That's where she, that's where they are right now. Okay. Yeah. So we have to make the next. Um, you have to make another lighter color brown. Careful another around. lighter color. Okay. Yep. So make it lighter again. So for lighter. each other layer that they're gonna come, they're gonna they're gonna paint. They gotta make it lighter, lighter. each time, right? Yep. Got it. Thank you. You're right, welcome. so they're gonna they're gonna finish up the, around the face with the lighter color, and then even more lighter when they go around the glasses, like you're doing right now. Yeah. Okay. I think they're okay now. You can always repeat it after we get through the other steps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Pretty good. Right, so that we did inside the glasses now. We did inside the glasses. Around those eyes. Around the eyes, around that little nose, <laughs> and yep. then around his mouth. Around that mouth area, and as you get down to the bottom where you don't have a sketch, yeah. you can just start kind of doing those little tiny brush strokes down toward his part, so that it looks like that fur is kind of coming out again. Give him a real beard. Oh, okay, give him a real beard. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do another layer of those little brush strokes over what we did already. So you don't have to cover the whole thing. But just a little bit. But just some of them. Okay. So anywhere where you have some white showing. You're going to just fill it we're in? We're going to fill it in with those little tiny brush strokes. Of the brown you just fur. made. Yep. Okay, because you just made a lighter brown. So now you're going to fill in whatever little strokes that you had uh, little spots in. Yep. You're going to fill those spots in? You got it. That's okay. It. So this will be kind of the end of our fur. So you have to fill this in all the way. And if you need help, you guys just let us know. We can take a peek and help you. So I move oh, to that smaller brush. Okay. Your zoom going. Good. I was just painting. <laughs> Okay, now Shay says, I have markers and papers. Oh, that's right. So I'm just chilling and going ahead okay. on some parts that I know how to do. That's right. Perfect. Okay. You got it. Awesome. So you can do these little brush strokes with markers by just kind of alternating browns and yellow. Oh, okay. So that might help you there. Browns, yellow, oranges. Well, wow. I see people, some people are finishing up. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, everybody's, um, everybody's finishing because they're, um, they're adding that extra lighter brown yep. throughout the rest like you're doing right now and finishing the fur. Yep. Okay. It's take a couple of minutes, guys. It's okay. Yeah, it's going to take, take a couple time. of minutes. Take your time. All right, so we do those out to the side, on either side. Okay. And then the top of his head. I just want, I just hope my Bond Specklesons are okay. okay. I know. Yeah, Reagan, Hannah, Braden, and Finnegan, I just hope they're all right. 
because they've been, you know, they've been going in and out. They're down to one more. The other one, they can't <laughs> <ask> one. <laughs> Ella. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good job. All right. <laughs> Keep doing those little brush strokes to fill in that whole head area. Oh, so you're gonna keep. Oh, so you went from down his body yeah, all the way up to the yeah. top of his head now. You got it. And you're just doing those little, little, little strokes going strokes. up. Yep. So, the canvas and pull away. The canvas. Yeah, because they can't see your they're hand. Your away. hand is covering your strokes. I know. Sorry, guys. So it's like puffing up his hair. Yep. <laughs> You can go over some of that brown that you did already. Yeah. You don't have to do the whole thing, but you can go over some of that brown that you did already and bring that lighter color out. And then your, you should almost be done with those little brush strokes. We might add some, some black and white in there, but for now, yeah. that's where we're at. Let everybody kind of get to that stage and then I'll tell you the next step. Okay. So you can make his hair any way you want. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. You can give him a mohawk, a taller section in the center. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving him ideas for the mohawk. It's your piece. You guys can make it however you want. We're just here to kind of give you a little bit of guidance. That's all. Okay. The alpaca lack of mohawk. Alpaca lack of mohawk. Say <laughs> <laughs> that five times fast. Alpaca lack of mohawk. Okay. Yep. A pack of like a mohawk. A pack of like a mohawk. A pack of so nope, can't do it. A pack of like a mohawk. 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 <laughs> well done. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's check on. Major monogram. Look at that. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he looks like a like a Hollywood superstar. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a cartoon character. <laughs> All right now. Rascal's getting a little up. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks, I try. <laughs> Don't tease Rascal. He's supposed to be major mon uh, the long version of major monogram, so I'd say that's progress. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Oh, boy. Yeah, Rass was like, "I'm ready I'm for you to stop." <laughs> no. You guys, just give us some thumbs up when you've got your lightest brown done. When your lightest brown is done. So uh, we shouldn't have any white spots on our canvas except for his eyes, yeah. nose, mouth, glasses, glasses, and scarf. Okay, so it's all okay. all white is left so, on yep. the canvas. So all of his fur is covering the rest of the canvas, or or the background is covering our canvas, the ears, and then we will move on to the next step. All right, you're going to bring him to life. We're going to we're going to start bringing him to life because he has. Nothing in his eyes right now. He's like a zombie or a, <laughs> or a ghost. He has ghost eyes. Uh huh. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Let's see here. Yes, we got thumbs up from Abby. Sanoxi's there sitting there like she's done. She's I ready. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. See, Christian, Christian, Emma, and Dominic. They look like they're ready. Okay. Well, no, they just they just finishing up. Okay. Then we want to try and keep everyone together when we can. I know we have a couple of people that are trying to catch up. So. Right. So we're not in a hurry. No. Nope. I still see. I still see people concentrating on their canvas. So guys, I'm really sorry. I really hope by now that our guests would pop on. I'm a little bit disappointed in them. And if they give us the opportunity again, we'll do this a second time if we have to video for them. Yes, you still spotlight video. Okay, you good guys? Yeah. All right, shades finished. Awesome. Here we go, guys. 
Hang it in yes, there. Yes, Jay is finished. Sinoxy's finished. All right. I want to do a couple more little details with that lightest brown that we have, okay? All right. So I want you to rinse and dry, get whatever you have on your brush off. So I want to touch that light brown, that lightest brown that you made to add some a little bit of a highlight. So we're going to put that lightest brown kind of over the top of the ears. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do a little brush stroke of that lighter color over the top of the ears. Okay. And then we're going to do either side of his nose area. So With the, that light brown. Yeah, so on the right side, we're just going to put a little highlight in there. And on the left side, we're going to put a little highlight in there. Okay. Right, Faye says, I think I'm finished the painting because I went ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. It's no all problem. right. If you're complete and you want to sign off, you can sign off, sweetie. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then I'll have you rinse and dry. And then why don't we get started on our color? So, whatever you would like for your glasses or your handkerchief, mm -hmm. we'll let you guys be creative. You make them whatever colors you want to, okay? Okay. So I'm going to make mine that kind of a blue or teal blue color. So make sure your brush is nice and clean, rinse and dry if you want to mix colors. Okay. So to make kind of a, a teal, this is just my regular straight blue. I'm going to make that apple blue color. So I'm going to mix some blue with a little tiny bit of yellow. And I got green green, so I need a little bit more blue. Mm -hmm. but you can make your stuff whatever color you guys want. Okay? And then you'll just fill all that in. So remember though, if you have lots of paint on that brush, either kind of get it off in a big area, mm -hmm. like this, or rinse and dry your brush, and get it back to a point. Remember how I showed you to get it back to a point? When you rinse and dry. Right. Drag it across the paper towel and spin your brush and it turns it back to a little point. Yeah, I see paint coming off. Yep, that was on the, the edge of my brush. Okay. All right, and then you can fill in your glasses nice and careful. And then your scarf or your handkerchief. Whatever color you like. Whatever color you want. You can put spots on it, polka dots, patterns. So this is all you. We can't wait to see all your different designs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to send us the pictures. Right. You're going to post them right into our group. Yes, yeah, Shay said, thanks for teaching me. You're welcome. Honey. And have a great day. You too. <laughs> All right. And then on the right side, or whichever side the small area of your scarf is, yeah. we're going to kind of create a little bit of a tie. So I'm going to do two of these little ovals that kind of are a little pointed oval. Oh, let them see that. One. And I'll do one. I'm coming down this way. Two. Okay. And that looks like a little tie on the edge. Yeah, for some reason it was like closer when you were doing it before. It seemed like it. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, they could see that real okay. good. So I did these two little oval shapes. Oval shapes that kind of come to a little bit of a point. Yeah, so they could see that real good sure. right up there. And then you'll just kind of finish painting in all those details on here. Okay. And then we're going to do the glasses, okay? So you can make those whatever color you want as well. It doesn't have to be the same color. Okay. So creative freedom by... Very good. Enjoy whatever color you want. Creative freedom. Right. Love and light. Not bad. Take your time filling in those little details because I know that that area gets tiny. Okay, if you have to rinse and dry that brush, mm -hmm. 
back to a point. If they can get into those little spots, you can, okay? Yeah, just make sure you put your brush into a little point. This will help fill in those little areas and gaps. Mm -hmm. Need a little design. Let's see. You're gonna come up with a little design. I like my polka dots. So I'm gonna do some polka dots. Oh, what kind of polka dots? White ones. Yellow polka dots. Oh, yellow polka dots. You want polka dots? You can get a bunch of paint on the tip of your brush and just tap it lightly. Mm -hmm. Or you can flip your paintbrush over and use a handle of your paintbrush and make uniform dots as well. Okay. I'm just watching. Christian, Emma, and Dominic, they are so serious. They are all taking care of their canvases. They are trained on their painting. They are all painting right next to each other. And then I see Sanakshi. She's like in such deep concentration looking down on her painting. She's just getting paint, going right back to the canvas. All right, then you got Lauren and Douglas over here. See, Lauren is painting down. Nice. Look at my specs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, JP, he's coming out great. Yeah, he's got talent. Yes, he does. <laughs> now, I don't know what happened to I don't know what happened to um Ali and Zach and Emma. They were done. Yeah, it looks they like they're us? done. <laughs> they yeah, it looks like they're they're completed. Oh, okay. <laughs> They run away and they're chasing the cat now. But <laughs> <laughs> poor cat. So is mom finishing all the paintings now? <laughs> no, they, 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 they barely finished. <laughs> oh no, they finished. Look. Oh, they finished. Yeah, they, they. Yeah, I guess you were going too slow going for them. Too slow for them. Yeah, and they finished. Aww. and said, "Okay, now we're on to the next thing. Let's they're go done. chase the cat." They're like, "We're out, mom." <laughs> <laughs> oh look! Hold on, guys, come back. Uh oh. Look who joined us finally. Here they come. All right, I'm, gonna, they? I'm going to. There they are. Oh, wow. All look. Right, now you need to click on them and do spotlight video on them. We're going to. We're spotlight gonna, video yep. on these guys so they can see. Check it out. All right. Now we've got a special Aww. guest, everybody. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is it right here. Sorry for late. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> we got Aspen oh. right here. Oh, you lost. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Hold on. I think my. <laughs> yeah, hold on. My connection is not super great. Let me switch it real quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so now we got everybody. We got a special guest for you guys. Oh, I'm so glad they made it. Yes. Yay. Yeah, now they can get to see a real one. I and know. they can make it add the finishing touches. Add, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we talk about inspiration, right, guys? So we're painting alpacas today. Look at that nose. Or llamas. We don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the difference is. Well, wait. So the, the main so difference it. is their ears. Oh. oh, we'll see. So these guys are llama or alpacas, so they have straight ears. Okay. He likes to whoa, say hi. Whoa. They came right up to the camera. Wow. <laughs> so cool. He's over here. He's saying hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how cute. And then and we'll see. Watch out, Aspen. There you go, guys. So this is Cedric. If he'll look up. Cedric. Cedric. Cedric says he don't want to be bothered. But Cedric oh, is oh, a llama. Oh, wow, look, look at, at that. that. So the llamas have banana ears. 
Okay, oh. the llamas have the So you can see how they're curved like a banana. I'm not yes. going to do anything. <laughs> and they always look a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah, they always look a little grumpy. Okay. So, and you can see that Cedric, um, even though the alpacas aren't right beside him, the llamas are twice as big as the alpacas. That's what it is. Look, he's like, hello. Yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> wow. So that's difference so alpacas are about 150 to 175 pounds okay. and llamas are usually 300 pounds or more oh wow. see so llamas are bigger they are bigger and they have banana ears <laughs> yes and we use the llamas to help protect the alpacas watch out tequila oh, interesting. see the llamas protect the, the alpacas, alpacas. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so. So they'll cool. run towards something and scare it away. Oh. Wow. Right, Tequila. Guys, do you <laughs> have any questions for them? Yeah. Do you have any questions, anybody in our yes, audience? You guys, you guys can unmute and ask a question if you want to. Yeah, if you like to. Know. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Ask your question. Why are they so close to the screen? They're, they're <laughs> right close to personal. How many llamas and alpacas do you have? So we have Gumby. <laughs> Tequila's trying to eat the iPad. <laughs> he just took a tried to take a chance. Hey, he wants to jump. He wants to jump through the screen. <laughs> he, he was gonna carry it off and have his own Zoom. Meeting. So how many llamas and alpacas do you have together? So we have nineteen alpacas total, Whoa. and we have. Four llamas. So up here we just have the boys, and we have um. Hi again, Gumby. Oh, yeah, he wants, to come. he wants he wants you to paint him. He wants to uh, be painted. He's trying to give hugs. So we have um. He says he can uh, pose for us. Up here. Oh, yeah. no he's just. Aww. Awesome. Aww. I want to pet llama or pack up. Uh, yeah, they want a pet llama or paca. They don't care. They get one of each. Get oh, one of each. Kisses. And they give out what kisses. Wow. Food? What do they eat? What so do they, they eat? mostly eat hay and grass. Oh, Say that's hi. good. Look at he's very friendly. He likes he's to give getting... out kisses. He likes to give out kisses and sometimes he whispers secrets too. Ooh. <laughs> but I that was Aww. a good secret. You're being silly today. That's sweet. Aww. I think he knows he's on TV. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> look, we love it. When did you get the llamas? Oh, Ali and Zach. Ali, Zach, and Emma. There your question? You wanted to know Emma? Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, you got a question? I'll make your question. How many, how many pounds do pack a llama? <laughs> how much do they weigh? Wait. How many, how um, many pounds um, do they weigh? So the alpacas are usually about 150 pounds and the llamas are usually about 300. Yes, so sorry about that. We started calling them pack of llamas. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> sometimes there are pack of llamas. Sometimes alpacas and llamas have a baby together. Ah, oh, see, I was right all along. I kept saying that was a possibility. <laughs> and everybody kept telling me, no way, man, no way. They're cousins and they're very so, closely related. So they could have a baby and it'll be a pack of llama then. <laughs> You could call it a pack of llama, but it would be called a miski. A what? <laughs> Which is a miski. A miski. Wow. Yeah, M I S K I. Oh, see, now I just learned something. A miski. I think that's what we're painting. A so that's what we're painting tonight. So what we're painting yeah, there you tonight go. is a cross between an alpaca <laughs> and a llama, which we was calling a pack of llama, but now it's a miski. It's a pack of lacca or a pack of llama. But now we're going to call it a miski. Oh That's God. what we're painting tonight. We got the so kids great. painting a miski. Aww. Awesome. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> look, look, this one wants to, <laughs> this know. one wants to be painted. He's all about it today. Horrible. Yeah, he's Abigail like, look at me. 
You oh, can paint me. Goodness. Paint me. Look how regal I look. Look how majestic I look. Paint me. Uh -oh. This one says, I'm eating. And you can paint me, but I'm eating right now. <laughs> Aw, that's so Are awesome. Are you them related? Are you them related? Um, so, related? yeah. So Aspen is this blonde one. He and Blackjack, this little guy over here, they have the same dad. And they uh, were born three weeks apart. So they're uh, half brothers. Oh, wow. And then we have um, all of our girl alpacas are at the lower part of the farm. And they are the moms to several of these boys up here. So we have most of them are kind of a family in some way. Oh. When did you decide that you wanted llamas and alpacas? So Miss Lee is the owner of the farm and she went to the Kentucky State Fair in the year 2000 and met an alpaca and fell in love and said, all right, I'm going to raise alpacas. And she bought the farm and started raising alpacas shortly after that. Awesome. They look yeah. pretty, pretty friendly. So I They are very friendly. They're a lot like cats in their personalities. Really? Okay. Yeah. So they're, as you can see, they're very curious. Yeah. <laughs> but they do also kind of do their own thing. So now the excitement's kind of over. They're going to go off. And right. Yeah. Now they're like going to eat. We're oh. done now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all so good. Aw. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. We really yeah, appreciate sorry it. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, no. I hope they have the great right thing. I know uh, it's been um, yeah no it's been really crazy and I lost track of time. <laughs> so yeah. Sophia llamas come from Peru. Oh. They come from South America. Alpacas too. Wow. Yeah. Did Reagan have a question? I I thought they came from Argentina. So they do. They can be found in Argentina, um, Bolivia, and Ecuador, but most of the alpacas in the world are in Peru. That's the largest population. But they are all along the Andes Mountains there. Okay. Yeah, but I thought Reagan had a question. Yes. Go ahead. Reagan has a question. Go ahead. <laughs> Mama attack. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between a llama and an alpaca? Um, the main difference is about 150 pounds. So the llamas are twice the size of the alpacas. And then the Gumby. <laughs> the alpacas have um, straight ears. And then the llamas have banana shaped ears. So they're curved, but those yeah, guys are. So the show, the one more penny is definitely a miskey. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of a mix between the straight ears and the curved ears for your painting. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Really good. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, Gumby, you gonna say goodbye again, Gumby? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Gumby. Bye, Gumby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Now we got to make you spotlight again, right? Yep. Now we have to put me back on spotlight. That was so cool. I'm so glad they made it. Yes. That was, so much. that was so much cool. fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's finish up our painting. We're almost there. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make the little bit of pink that we need for inside of his mouth. Okay. So a little bit of white and a tiny bit of red for that pink color. A little bit of white and a tiny bit of red. Yep. I'm using that tiny brush, so make sure we rinse and dry. Get that tiny brush out for yourself. Allison, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Allison. White and a tiny bit of red, and we're just going to fill in that little area. All right. Allison said she finished her painting. All right, sweetie. I know you guys are painting as we went. Yeah. Sorry, this is a little longer <laughs> today because we're, we're our little guest. Yes, we were waiting for our guest to make an appearance, and we were just happy that, he, <laughs> that they did. Me too. 
right. So that little pink inside their mouth, inside his mouth. Little right. pink inside his mouth. And then we're going to start with black. So I'm going to grab rinse and dry. What brush are you using? Tiny brush. You're using the tiny, tiny brush. brush. Yep. So let's fill in those little eye shapes, those little almonds for eyes. Oh, with the black. Yep, I'm filling it in with black. We're going to fill in the eyes and his nose. Good. Use that pencil grip, right? Remember pencil grip? Hold it like a pencil. Yes. Use your pinky to rest it on your canvas. Stabilize that grip. You can fill it all in and we'll go back to add highlights later. Okay. Fill in the nose. Just hope everybody's okay finishing up their paintings. Yeah, just let us know if you have questions. I know we're kind of skipping around a bit. Yeah, we got a little excitement because we got <laughs> to actually see and learn about alpacas yeah. and llamas. That was cool. I told you, I knew it. I knew that I knew they could have a baby. <laughs> so I was right. You were right. They were call right. them they call them pacalacas. <laughs> Miskies, pacalacas. I, I think I'm gonna change the name to Pacalacas. <laughs> All right, and then Lack with that tiny brush, we're going to start doing our outlining. So I'm going to go around real light pressure, a little bit of paint on your brush at a time. Right. Real light pressure around your nose area, around the mouth. Okay, they can barely see that. Right now, all those little lines that you had for your sketch, that's what we're outlining now. All right, when you finish your outline, can you put it up close to the, sure. to the screen so I'll they can a, see how it looks? I'll do a couple of brush strokes and then I'll bring it up to the camera. Okay. Because we still have artists here that are carefully detailing. painting and detailing. Yes. Yeah, right. now you bring it up close so they can see it. Okay, so I filled in the eyes, the nose, and then for some of our details, we went around the nose. Yes. Just like your sketch. Yes. The bottom of our mouth. The bottom of the lip. Yes, let's see. Everybody can see that. And then the edges. Uh, I thought they had stubble dots like right here and right here. They do. Yep, you're right. See, he's good. He's you can good. go ahead to that if you would like to go ahead to it. Yes. If you want here, I'll show you while we're up close, okay? Okay. So tiny little dots, a little bit of paint on your brush at a time. Uh-huh. And then, yep, just like JT said, little tiny dots. You can even see it on there. Good job. Little tiny dots. Yeah. A double. Yeah, see, he has it. He got it. This is my a little assistant. Good job. He's always helping me. Good job. All right. Nice. I'm going to outline the ears. Uh huh. So, yeah, these are like kind of half bananas, half on top of the head. So, it is a misty. <laughs> okay. That was fun. That was fun. If I can think to do something else like that. like that, we will, okay? Yeah, we'll figure out something. We'll do one for the fall sun one. It's nice to have special guests drop by. All right. Um, so here, the glasses are picking Especially if they're llamas. Especially if they're llamas. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to outline the glasses. Again, it's a little tricky because they're tiny, fine lines. Right, but you're taking a pencil grip yep. and you're constantly rinsing and drying your brush and spinning it into a point. Got it. And put a little black on it and then keep outlining your yep. glass. You got it. Good. Not bad. All right. Now we're going to outline the nose. Yeah, we're going to I'm um, just keeping an eye on Rory. Rory seems to be finishing up <laughs> right about now. Looking very serious at the canvas. It looks like um, they're getting some kind of uh, help, too. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to outline my scarf. If you want to outline your scarf. And these are all suggestions, guys. You don't have to outline if you don't want to. Right. Sometimes it just helps pull everything together. 
when you have lots of overlapping colors. All right, uh, let's see here. I haven't been able to see Su Sucheth and um and Anikat, right? So I don't know their progress, but I they they're here, so they're still painting. <laughs> Outline. Should we add white dots to their eyes so it looks I, like you can? I didn't do it yet, but yes, you can. If you oh, want. yeah. Okay, I got the thumbs up from Suchet and Annika. Oh, very good. They're okay. All right. All right. I'm going to add some little um, eyelashes. So, from the corners of each of their eyes, or at least of her or his eyes, mm -hmm. can do three little light brush strokes up toward the corners of the glasses. Okay. And it looks like little eyelashes. Oh, okay. And then for our brow people. <laughs> uh -huh, uh huh. Okay, real light, real light, tiny brush strokes right above those glasses. Okay. Yeah, I think Jade is done. Jade's done. Okay. I'm not sure. I she All might right. be. And then I'm going to add... Echo, echo, done. <laughs> <laughs> and Jade is done, too. Thumbs up. Awesome, guys. <laughs> I am just adding some little brush strokes of black, tiny, fine lines of black. Yeah. Throughout the fur, if you want to add those. Okay. Oh, wow. Jade's is so colorful. And, oh, wow. Jade's is colorful. Got the Hollywood style glasses. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me take it. Let me take it. All right. We'll give you guys the last step. Those white, so whites in the eye. So rinse and dry. White in the eye. So two dots. One big one. The one little one. One little one. One big one. One little one. Two dots for eyes. One dot on the nose. One dot on the nose. Okay. So, again, if you want to go back with that black and do fine little lines with some black, you can do that. And you have your white, white dots in your eyes and on the nose. And then I'm going to also take that white and do some fine little lines on the top of his head and in his body. I see Dominic with his arms in the air. I think he is done. finished. I know. And you he guys, is done. You guys hung in there. This was a long one. They hung yes. in there and they did it. <laughs> Sanakshi is finishing up. I can see she's looking down at her canvas. All right, up, guys. done. She's holding it up. Yeah, everybody's holding up their pictures now. <laughs> they done. were just moving along while you were Good telling effort. them everything. Good job. All right. I'm adding a couple little white strokes in my body and my face. Make sure you sign those paintings. Yes. The initials and the year on the bottom of it, please, or wherever you want on it. Yes. Okay. And then be sure to have mom or dad take a photo and put them in our group so everybody can see what you guys did. Yes. And that's it. You're done. Did you tell them to sign their paintings? I did. Okay. <laughs>